The Amazing Life Cycle of the European Eel For centuries, people have wondered where European eels come from. Aristotle thought eels emerged from the mud, declaring, Eels are derived from the so-called Earth's guts. They grow spontaneously in mud and in humid ground. Pliny the Elder had a different theory. Eels rub against rocks and the scrapings come to life. This is their only way of breeding. But the truth is even more amazing, and it was only revealed because in 1904, a young Danish biologist called Johannes Schmidt took on the long task of trawling the Atlantic Ocean for young eel larvae. Twenty years later, he had tracked the smallest specimens to an area in the Sargasso Sea, home to the Bermuda Triangle and known for its floating beds of sargassum seaweed. The larvae here were so tiny, less than a centimetre long, that Schmidt was convinced they could not have originated anywhere else. Eels begin their lives as eggs in the sargassa, rising from the depths toward the light at the surface. They hatch into transparent larvae shaped like willow leaves and are carried towards Europe on ocean currents. This journey spans an astonishing 6,000 kilometres and can take up to two years to complete. It is the longest known migration of any eel species, and less than 1 in 500 larvae are thought to survive. By the time they reach coasts ranging from Scandinavia to North Africa, larvae develop into thin glass eels, about 6 centimetres long. As they begin their search for a home, they darken to become elvers, gaining camouflage against predators as they continue to grow. Young elvers are determined creatures. They will surf tides, cross land, and even climb vertical surfaces on their migration upstream. It is a perilous journey. They must dodge many predators, as eels are an important source of food for a variety of fish, mammals, and birds. Once an elver has found a suitable habitat, with good hiding spots and plentiful food, it will settle down to live and grow there, transforming into a yellow eel. Males may live in this state for up to 12 years, while larger females may spend as long as 20 years as yellow eels, and grow up to a metre long. It is unclear what sparks the change, but when a yellow eel is ready, it will turn into a silver eel to begin its migration back to the Sargasso Sea. It will alter its body chemistry to cope with salt water, its stomach will shrink to save energy for the journey, and its pupils will become larger, allowing it to see in the low light conditions of the deep sea. Marine biologists are convinced that silver eels migrate back to the Sargasso to spawn and then die. But this life stage has never been witnessed, so it remains shrouded in mystery. Despite centuries of investigation, scientists are still attempting to answer key questions about the European eel's life cycle and behaviour. One thing we do know is that every eel in Europe has travelled a very long distance to get there. Generations before it have overcome huge odds in order to complete their mysterious life cycle and undertake one of the world's greatest unseen migrations. <laughs>